Hi folks, thanks for joining us today on our presentation on MyClips 10 and uh, its new features. I'm Jason O'Keefe and I'm in Genutech's marketing department. Today with us is uh, Brian Fernandez, he's the team lead and manager for the MyClips product line. Hey Brian, how are you? Hey Jason, I'm fine, thanks. Right, good. So moving right along to keep this uh, within a 10 minute window here. Uh, here's a quick list, we're not going to read the list to you uh, folks, but um, here's an upgrade to MyClips. We've got Secure Delivery Center available now. That's a technology for delivering my clips or clips uh, inside your company firewall. So uh, it's a secure distribution. You can lock that down and make sure that your teams are all on the same uh, on the same tools, same version numbers. Uh, something else we've got is JRebel integration. That's um, a tool so that you can uh, see your code changes on the fly, and you don't have to keep restarting servers and and uh, save yourself a whole lot of time with that. All right, jumping right in. We're looking at some uh, Maven support. What um. What do we have here, Brian? Jason, so we've uh, we've always had a large number of enterprise customers who've asked us for Maven peer support, and uh, you know I'm really happy to say that this is finally available in MyClipsTen. So you can now create a Maven peer project, and in this project you can reference your say your EJB and web modules directly, you know, from the POM file, and MyClips will set up the dependencies and deployment for you. So along with the ear support, we've also added support for flexible Maven projects. So Maven is something that promotes flexibility. And within MyClips, you can now have whatever project structure you'd like. So if you look at the Package Explorer screenshot on the right, you know, all the MyClips customers will realize that the projects do not look like traditional you know, MyClips web, EGB, or ear projects. Uh, users familiar with Maven will realize that, uh, that they actually look like uh, you know a standard Maven project structure. So you can you know you can even import a Maven project that only exists as a POM file. Uh, you know uh, traditional Maven projects just a POM file and a few source folders. And with no MyClips metadata whatsoever, MyClips will detect the type of project you are importing, it will configure it, and uh, you would be able to actually deploy it uh, immediately. So that that's what's uh, in MyClips then uh, with uh, Maven support. Okay. As we know, these are uh, always customer-driven. We don't make uh, any of these upgrades without customers uh, requesting them. I see some uh, deployment changes as well. Yeah. So now these deployment changes are, you know, an important side effect of the improved Maven support that we just spoke about. So if you enable deployment assembly support uh, on this page, you can configure where resources that exist in your workspace are placed during deployment within your server's uh, deployment location. So if you have one structure within your workspace, uh, but something quite different uh, in your deployment. And you can even have uh, two where root folders, uh, for instance. So now, even though we developed this primarily for uh, Maven projects, you can actually use it for non-Maven projects too, uh, across most project types. Okay. In the interest of time, we'll keep rolling along here. Uh, what are we looking at with this screen, Brian? Okay, so this is, you know, our new instant and EGB deploy support that we added, you know, in MyClips 9.1 and continue to improve in MyClips 10. So now with, with classic deployment modes, uh, all your project resources are copied out to the server's deployment location. So this is fine if you have smaller projects, but, you know, most enterprises have large projects that are several hundreds of megabytes in size. So these, in it, uh, you know, the initial deployment, uh, takes time, and every time you make a change, the change uh, the changed files and resources have to be copied over to the deployment location again. So this can make deployment unbearably slow uh, in in many cases. Now, in MyClips 10, within workspace deployment, we don't copy any resources over to the server location. What we do is we actually point WebSphere to the project in your workspace itself, and as a result, your deployment is almost instantaneous. Now, if you make changes in your projects. Uh, those changes are managed by WebSphere, and it will take care of reloading the right parts of your application. Naturally, your deployment experience is going to be a lot faster and a lot more efficient. Now, uh, moving on to the EJB deploy. So, the EJB deploy feature allows you to prepare EJB projects for deployment uh, in a one-time process. So, with regular deployment, WebSphere would automatically run an EJB deploy sequence even during your deployment. And uh, this can be quite expensive in large projects. So if you use EJB deploy against your project, you can configure WebSphere to not run it during deployment. So deployment is faster, and you can only run it yourself in the workspace 
when you make changes to your EGP2 projects. So if you use the in workspace mode, you must use the EGP deploy feature as well. But if you use regular deployment, uh, it's completely optional. Okay, good stuff. All right, moving along. Okay, so this is uh, uh, Enterprise Edition 6 support. So we've had uh, Java EE 6 support in MyClip since 9.1. Uh, but of course, we keep working on it. So uh, here you can see we've got support for EGP 3.1. That includes support for the new JPA 2 spec, the Servlet 3.0, JSP 2.2, etc. So we also have support for JSF 2. So if you wanted to use you know, the new FACEL standard, you can do that and much more in MyClip set. I see some uh, awesome diagrams here. Uh, what's this about? Yeah. So this is, you know, uh, some JPA and uh, JPA2 support that we've added in MyClips. So MyClips has two JPA2 providers. That's OpenJPA and Eclipse. So if you create a JPA project in MyClips 10, you could use either of these providers. And, you know, if you're using a JPA2 provider, um, our editors will actually change, and the views will actually change, to show you features that are specific to JPA2. So, uh, and what you see on the right is actually the JPA visual designer. So, in my tips 10, instead of creating a JPA, uh, you know, JPA entities by hand or reverse engineering for the, from a database, you can do it graphically in this visual editor, and it'll actually generate some of the code for you as well. MyClips Blue, the uh, the IBM centric IDE, it's getting better. How's that? Yeah. So Blue is uh, is something that's uh, really driven by our enterprise customers, and something um, we've been asked for for a long time is application client support. For example, so you, if you use MyClips 10, you'll see a superior editing and launching capability for application client projects. So uh, we even support the deployment of these projects right from WebSphere 6.1 to WebSphere 8 right now. Support for 8.5 is coming soon. Uh, another common customer request has been uh, JCA support. And, you know, we we'll actually be adding support for connector projects in MyClips 10.1. That's, that's due in about a month's time. Uh, on the right-hand side, you can see an overview type screenshot of our DB2 support. So typically in MyClips, if you're connecting to a database, you can only see tables and views. But if you connect to a, database, uh, a DB2 database, you will also see functions procedures, triggers, and you can even edit and run these uh, from within MyClips. So we do support similar enhanced functionality for Oracle, MySQL, SQL Server, and Postgres. We just extended this uh, to cover DB2 for our Blue customers. Well, Brian, thanks for your time. Uh, folks, if you're considering uh, MyClips tools, uh, these are just a small sampling of our customers. I'm sure you recognize some names on here. Coming soon, uh, we're looking at adding some mobile integration from our Mobi One IDE. If you haven't seen that, that is an excellent product. It's uh, Mobi One. You can find that on our website. Again, Secure Delivery Center is on the market too, and uh, that's for the enterprise for delivery inside the firewall and uh, controlling your tools. Very, uh, very cool stuff. Stay informed with our products, folks. Uh, join our newsletter. Register at MyClipsIDE.com. Again, Brian, thank you for your time.